Hello everyone, we are group 30 and our topic is NK cells. NK cells are like John Wick, killing viral infections within our body in order to ensure our safety. So natural killer cells are like John Wick. So if you've never seen the movie John Wick, uh, he pretty much goes around, he's like a, a marksman, a hitman. Uh, and he goes around eliminating people that are trying to come after him and take over whatever it is that he wants. In the movie, they pretty much uh, kill his dog. And so that's why he starts going on this rampage of killing a bunch of people. So the viruses, the villains from John Wick can be compared to the viral infections or cancer cells. It is the NK cells job to remove these before they cause any problems within our body and therefore can be compared to the villains. <clears throat> so just like the MHC class one receptors, his dog represents one of the receptors. So in an NK, when an NK cell gets activated, it's because these receptors are not normal or they don't have the right number of ratio. Uh, so just like his dog, once his dog dies, that's why he gets, John Wick gets activated per se. And so he goes on the rampage just like an NK cell would get activated after there's an incorrect number of ratio uh, of these receptors. Similar to John Wick using a weapon to dispose of the villains, NK cells use granules as their weapons. Once the NK cells are activated, the granules are released from within the NK cell. The granules basically surround the bad cells, poke holes in it, and then kill it by inducing apoptosis. Apoptosis is programmed cell death. Because the NK cells are dangerous and efficient, we only need a few of them to survive. And thank you for coming to our presentation. Hope you really enjoyed our representation of NK cells as John Wick.